everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and that is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear and I am a reader and a writer. And today I am here to do the 1001 book tag. The tag is by Miss Reads A Lot and I have her video linked down below but I also have linked David Wiley's video because he's the one who tagged me. I'm excited to do this because I like lists and I like that it's a combination of bookish questions and non-bookish questions. So question number one, 1001 lists. Do you follow any book lists? And I do not actually. Um, no, I take that back. So the lists that I am currently following are on Goodreads because Goodreads lets you make lists and I've been following the best space opera list currently working on reading the top 10 that users think are the best space opera. And I have one left off of that list to read. And then I will have a video that I'll post. And I know I've done a version of this with space opera that was written by women. Next prompt, 1001 books. Approximately how many physical books do you currently own? And I actually counted this recently, so 73. Editor popping in here. As I was editing and re-listened to the question, I realized I misunderstood. I thought it was physical, unread books, and I think the question is actually just total. So 73 is the unread, and then I have maybe 50 more that I have read. And then how many ebooks? I don't know, but I do know I own ebooks. I probably have at least 50 and I haven't read most of them. At one point in time, Kindle had it made it very easy for you to go, oh, free, select, 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 select. And I did all of that. And I added a lot of older classic books. So I think that's a lot of what I haven't read. Next prompt is 1001 books read. Approximately how many books have you read in your life, in your lifetime? And do you keep track? And I started keeping track in 2012 when I first joined Goodreads. So since joining Goodreads, I have read 1,618. And I'm sure there's probably a couple hundred that aren't on there just because I don't remember a lot of what I read as a child. There you go. That is what I read at least since 2012 when I started keeping track. Next question is 1001 Arabian Nights. Have you read any stories from the Arabian Nights? Do you have a favorite? If you haven't read it, do you want to? And I don't remember if I've read any stories from Arabian Nights. I know I've heard them. My parents are storytellers, and so I know they and other storytellers have told variations of them. And so I'm familiar with quite a few of the tales from 1001 Arabian Nights. But I don't think I've actually sat down with the book and read it myself. And yeah, I'd be interested in doing that. I don't mind reading those. Next question. 1001 flavors. Do you have a favorite food or flavor? And I don't have so much a favorite food, but I love caramel. Like that, if, if you give me a dessert that has caramel in it, even if it's like has mint, which is something I don't like, I will still try it because I want the caramel. Next prompt. 1001 pages. Have you read a book that is over 1,001 pages? And if not, what is the longest book you have read? And I don't think I have read anything over 1,001 pages. Let me go see my Goodreads list to see what I have. Like, what is the longest thing I have read? And I'm not counting box sets of things. Okay, I guess I have uh, read a book that is more than 1,001 pages because according to what has been entered in Goodreads, the Holy Bible, the King James Version, is 1,590 pages. So I have, but not including scriptures. It looks like the Great Book of Amber, which I read many, many years ago, is 1,258. And I know this is the collection of all of the books from, like all 10 of the books are in that Great Book of Amber which I did not know when I picked it up. So yes, yes, I have read a book over 1,001 pages and I just didn't realize it. All right, uh, next question is 1,001 buckets. Do you have a non-bookish bucket list? Yes, I do. I actually like to do the 101 things in one 
hundred and a thousand days, I think is it? Hold on. The website's day zero project. I remember that. You know how it is when you set up an account with something on an old email and I have to go back into the old email? I did not forget my password here. AOL just made me like, create a completely new password for an account that I've had for years. Uh, this is really annoying. Okay. So the list is 101 things in a thousand and one days, which is perfect for this video right here. So one of the things on my list, which is probably not going to be done before March 24th of this year, which is when the current list ends is bake my way through Paul Hollywood's bake book. I've been working on baking bread. This list I create, when I created it, I tried to do things that I could actually do locally. So a lot of it's visit some local sites, local places, and I've been getting a lot of those done, which is nice. Next question, 1001 numbers. Do you have a lucky number? And is there a story behind it? No, I, I don't have a lucky number. If someone asks me to choose, I'll probably choose 11 or 13, but I, for no real reason. And if those both are taken, three, but no, no really lucky numbers. Next prompt, 1001 authors. Do you have a favorite author and or genre? And so my favorite author as a teenager was Tamora Pierce and she does fantasy. I don't have really a favorite author at this time, but my favorite genre is science fiction. I prefer picking up science fiction to even fantasy, though I do like a lot of fantasy and I do read widely, but if you if you give me an option, I'll probably pick up a science fiction before reading something else. All right, next prompt, 1001 activities. Do you have a favorite outdoor activity? I like hiking. I like to walk when I walk, I daydream. So there you go. I, as a kid, I played a lot of recreational sports. Soccer was a favorite. I like being outside and like doing activities, but I don't have a specific activity that I like to do. Last is like an optional question, but I'm going to answer it anyway. It's a thousand and one book clubs. It's not a prompt question, but Miss reads a lot. Sure. Go ahead and start a book club. Whatever you want to do. It's fun. You can even work out, out of your 1001 books to read before you die. And then tag some friends. Say I'm a small channel. I don't know. I don't have a lot of people who watch me that I know of. Anybody else who is interested in doing this, you are now tagged. Thank you and have a great day.